Greetings, Scorpio. Welcome to your horoscope. Okay, so we've got the North Node, Mercury, and Saturn in your first house. The Sun's in your 12th house. So let's talk about that. Sun in the 12th house is karma. And it can be the house of your own undoing. So first thing I'd say is lay low. Be spiritually sensitive and receptive. Pay your bills if you can. Um, make things right with people. You want a clean start when the new year in Scorpio starts for you. Saturn now in the first house. Um, serious issues regarding your relationship with your father, regarding long-term goals are being addressed and whether or not you're going to meet them, you're, you're looking at that way more seriously now. Mercury in the Scorpio, it's like you don't really like talking because some people are obviously very sensitive and you imagine a lot of emotionally intense situations and even experience them through suffering or whatnot. It's not everybody's ready to hear that, you know. And, and there's a balance, folks. I mean, there's some people that are such fluff and they're so disingenuous that it's disgusting. You can't take it. But then there's some people that are so real and everything's so um, intensely negative or positive that it just wears you out hanging out with them. So there has to be a balance. There has to be some sense of finesse and grace involved in all of this. Mars moves out of your first house. You don't feel so intense about things. Moving into the second house, you gotta get the right tools for the right job. Work on how you deal with your finances in a more active way. Venus uh, over in your 11th house, wonderful time to socialize, wonderful time to meet a good friend, especially a, a female friend or an artistic creative friend with uh, Venus and Virgo right now. So uh, I'd say in, enjoy it. I mean, I also would say do things to inspire good health in yourself. You know, and, and um, may your artistic gifts bring a sense of greater love and higher feeling 